today's project is going to be installing a whole house surge protector. You can buy the surge protector for about $125 and I got the ultra version so I also needed to get a dual 50 amp breaker which cost about $12. Now here's my electrical panel. The instructions for the surge protector say to install at the highest point that you can where the feed comes in. And that would be up here. And you also have to have a place to mount it outside. And you want to keep the wires as short as possible from the surge protector in. And I don't want to have to deal with moving all these around. So what I'm going to do is probably locate mine down here somewhere. I just want to point out that although it's not optimal to put the surge suppressor at the bottom of the panel, um, you can you can buy a panel from Cutler Hammer with the surge suppressor built in, and that's where they install it at the very bottom where I'm putting mine. So the key here is I believe that there's a much shorter distance between the main bus coming in and the surge protector it's it's very close it's within inches on the wiring whereas to hit your refrigerator with a surge for example you'd have to travel dozens to hundreds of feet up the wire and hopefully the surge is caught at a shorter distance and dumped so that's what we're trying to accomplish here and I didn't want to reconfigure my entire panel now the other problem I have <clears throat> is I have an external outlet which feeds right in at that location where I want to put the surge protector. So I'm probably going to move this outlet down because all the wires under here seem to travel in that area. And that way, if I slide that down, that'll open up a hole for me back there and a knockout. And then I can rearrange what needs to be done here and install the dual 50 amp breaker for the surge protector here. As I mentioned, they tell you to locate this unit um, as close to the top as possible. And that's so that the distance between the incoming power surge and this grounding unit is the shortest distance possible and hopefully this will take the overcurrent and ground it before it makes it through all the wires in your house to a load somewhere like your refrigerator or your air conditioning compressor and hopefully that won't get blown out. Now the problem I have is this outlet Look at the distance. Look how short that wire is. So really, I'm not sure how effective the surge protecting unit is going to be on this particular outlet or even this one down under the panel because the distance is just as short from those wires as they will be from these when I put in. So I'm not sure what I'm going to end up with here, but since I want to move this outlet down, I'll probably pop out one of these other knockouts and move this down and then I'm going to try to tie the surge unit in back on that far back behind that black wire. I'm going to do that knockout and see if I can get in there and put the nut on there and then feed the wires in around. So we'll see what happens. That's probably why I'm going to end up putting the dual 50 breaker down here at the very bottom because the distance is so short anyway. I'm not sure it's going to be effective on this outlet. And this outlet mainly goes to some of my electronic components in this rack here, which seems critical, but I have uh, several other UPSs and power surge protection devices on this rack as well. So we'll do what we can with it. Now is probably a good time to mention, turn off your main breaker to all power in this box. Uh, I question whether I should do this video at all, 
because some of the caliber of the comments I get on YouTube from people tells me that they're not the brightest people around anyway and they're gonna take this and think oh I just open up my electric box and dig around in there you could you could kill yourself so easily in here guys so if you don't know what you're doing just call an electrician don't do any of this stuff yourself if you're not comfortable but since I'm mainly targeting my O gauge train buddies on this YouTube channel they're already you know been shocked a million times anyway with low voltage and they're not the brightest guys to start with anyway just by the fact that they're trained guys so they're not going to listen to what you say but you know in all seriousness guys uh, turn the main power off before you start this test it to make sure that there's no current going through and if this is something you don't feel comfortable doing or you don't understand it don't do it I have experience with electrical work and I just want to say that up front now along with that what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this outlet on the outside of the panel here and I'm going to put in uh, a two gang box and give myself four outlets there so that uh, I can do some expansion for some other electronic devices off of this 20 amp circuit as part of this okay at this point I was able to mount the surge protector in the location that I wanted had to route the wires underneath the ground bar getting that nut on back there be behind all that was a little of a challenge but it wasn't too bad so now I'm gonna wire it up okay so they wanted the wires as short as possible so I cut them after measuring and the green and white wires both of those go to the ground and the neutral bar as seen down there and the red and the black go to the two pole 50 amp breaker which has been installed not on the same terminal one on each terminal so, the moment of truth. Let's fire it up and hope there isn't a fire. Awesome. Both green lights are lit. I should be protected. If I ever get a surge and something inside that box fries, then those green lights wouldn't be lit and I'd know I'd have to replace it. Next, I'll go back and install my two gang box down here and rewire up my outlets. And here's the new outlet, quad outlet. The wire run back in, tied into the ground and up into this breaker here. Now I just need to button everything up and here's the completed job they sent some screws that you can put in and there is a space behind here so I didn't torque them down I just put two of them in to keep it from moving around very sturdy my rerouted outlet down here I have a little index that I plugged in here to block this hole that was used before it has nothing to do with it it just was an extra hole that was knocked out that I cleaned up Put the panel back together. Down here is my whole house surge, double 50. So we'll give it a shot. As long as we're green, we're supposed to be good. Hopefully I'm ready for this summer season with storms coming up.